Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to prove Gauss representation of gamma function by uh, using two methods. Here, gamma of s is equal to limit n approaches to infinity n to the s over s product from k is equal 1 to n k over s plus k. Okay, uh, first method, uh, I am going to use the uh, definition of gamma function. We know gamma of s is equal to integral representation integral from 0 to infinity t to the s minus 1 times e to the minus t dt and here we know uh, real s greater than to 0 okay then uh, here we have e to the minus t so we know uh, the definition of uh, e to the x limit definition of e to the x e to the x is equal to limit n approaches to infinity 1 plus x over n raised to the n power now here we have e to the minus t so if we take here minus t we know we have limit n approaches to infinity 1 uh, now instead of x minus t so minus t over n raised to the n therefore uh, we can write here this is equal to integral from 0 to infinity t to the s minus 1 instead of e to the minus t we have limit n approaches to infinity 1 minus t over n raised to the n power dt okay then we have uh, integral and limit so uh, we know convergence of the integral is uh, uniform so we can switch the limit and integral sign so here limit n approaches to infinity integral from 0 to here n approaches to infinity so here now n t to the s minus 1 times 1 minus t over n raised to the n dt okay then uh, how to evaluate this integral well, uh, we can use IBP integration by parts method. So here we have limit n approaches to infinity integral from 0 to n. Now, uh, as a first function, I am going to take uh, this part 1 minus t over n raised to the, sorry, here not s, here n uh, times d by dt. Now, integration of this function. So we know t to the s over s d t okay then uh, we know next step limit n approaches to infinity now uh, product of these two functions so we can write 1 minus t over n raised to the n uh, times t to the s over s from 0 to s then uh, we have uh, minus integral from 0 to n integral from 0 to n now rewrite this function here t to the s over s we know constant so we can write here and then uh, derivative of uh, this function so here n so n times so we can write uh, here n um, okay i'm going to write here n times 1 minus t over n raised to the n minus 1 power uh, times now uh, we should multiply by the coefficient of the variable here minus 1 over n so here plus 1 over n dt okay then uh, if we apply limit here we know when uh, if we apply s sorry uh, here limit uh, not 0 to s 0 to n uh, so if we apply n here we know 0 if we apply 0 also 0 so this part will be 0 so we have uh, limit n approaches to infinity now uh, here uh, n we can write outside loop the integral sign here also n so n times s n over n times s integral from 0 to n uh, now here we have t to the s 
t to the s times 1 minus t over n 1 minus t over n raised to the uh, n minus 1 d t okay then uh, here um, if we uh, apply ibp again if we apply ibp again uh, we know uh, we can write uh, here gamma of s is equal to uh, limit limit n approaches to infinity now here we have n over n s uh, then we know uh, if we differentiate this function n minus 1 so here n minus 1 over uh, now we should integrate uh, t to the s so s plus 1 and also we should uh, multiply by 1 over n uh, so uh, we should write here um, minus sign we know uh, always uh, will be uh, plus okay then here n minus 1 over n times s plus 1 uh, then integral from 0 to n t to the sorry t to the s minus 1 t to the yes uh, s minus 1 sorry here s uh, here s plus 1 t to the uh, s plus 1 then uh, 1 minus t over n raised to the now here we have n minus 2 d t okay now uh, if we repeat uh, this process n times we can write here uh, limit n approaches to infinity n over n s times n minus 1 over n times s plus 1 then we know here n minus 2 over n times s plus 2 and uh, finally 1 over n times s plus n minus 1 integral from 0 to n integral from 0 to n t to the uh, s plus n minus 1 d t t to the uh, s plus n minus 1 d t okay then um, we can write here uh, we can integrate this uh, so limit n approaches to infinity n over n s n minus 1 over n s plus 1 times n minus 2 over n s plus 2 uh, 1 over n times s plus n minus 1 and here t to the s plus n over s plus n from 0 to n okay then uh, we can write now uh, limit n approaches to infinity now here n n minus 1 n minus 2 and here 1 uh, so we know this is equal to n factorial so here uh, n factorial and here n n n n so we know n n times so we can write here n sorry n n times uh, then here we have uh, if we plug in n uh, n to the s plus n so n to the s plus n uh, now we have uh, here s s plus 1 s plus 2 this is going to uh, s plus n so we can write uh, here uh, product k is equal 1 to n s plus k and uh, here we have 1 so then uh, we can simplify a little bit limit n approaches to infinity um, here n to the n we know get cancelled so we have n to the s over uh, now i'm going to take uh, first function uh, here k is equals 0 to n uh, because here we have uh, s now uh, if we take uh, first part uh, so when k is equal 0 we know first term s so here s uh, then product uh, k is equal now 1 because uh, when k is equal 0 we have s now k is equal 1 to n here we have s plus k but here we have n factorial 
so n factorial we can write uh, as a product here k okay this is the uh, gauss representation of gamma function well uh, then uh, second method uh, now uh, also we are going to prove uh, gauss representation of gamma function so i am going to begin with uh, gamma of phase gamma of phase we know factorial definition is minus 1 factorial and s minus 1 factorial uh, we can write s factorial over s now uh, we know uh, s factorial we can write 1 times 2 times 3 times this is going to s uh, and i'm going to multiply by both numerator and denominator by s plus 1 s plus 2 s plus 3 this is going to s plus n so uh, we should multiply the denominator also by uh, s plus 1 s plus 2 and this is going to s plus n okay then uh, we can uh, write uh, the numerator as uh, product of 1 to n we can write n factorial times n plus 1 n plus 2 and uh, this is going to n plus s over now here we know we have product so we can use capital phi so uh, product k is equal 0 to n s plus k okay then uh, here n factorial uh, then i am going to divide by n uh, each term so here n plus 2 over n this is going to n plus s over n so here n times n times so we should multiply by n raised to the s power and in the denominator we have uh, product k is equal 0 to n s plus k okay then um, here we can write uh, we can apply limit uh, because uh, we know n uh, natural number and when n approaches to infinity uh, these parts you know will be one uh, and n may be arbitrary so we can apply a limit so we can write limit n approaches to infinity n factorial times uh, n plus 1 over n n plus 2 over n this is going to n plus s over n times n raised to the s over uh, product k is equal 0 to n k is equal 0 to n s plus k okay then uh, we know we have uh, gamma of phase is equal to limit n approaches to infinity now we know uh, these parts uh, equal to 1 when n approaches to infinity so here we have n factorial n raised to the s over uh, product k is equal 0 to n s plus k okay then uh, we can simplify limit n approaches to infinity here n to the s uh, now when k is equal 0 to uh, when k is equal 0 we have the first term is equal to we you know s then uh, product k is equal 1 to n uh, n factorial we can write here k k plus s okay this is the uh, gamma of s the gauss representation of the uh, gamma function okay thank you for watching